In your heart of hearts, would you rather have Tim Tebow or Joe this. Flacco? Which one? Are you kidding me? No, why, I'm not Why don't kidding. you like my quarterback, Skip? Why don't, is, it, is it his mustache? Is it his, his I don't his like eyebrows? his mustache. I will give you that is one. Is it that he's not as his... Is it because Tim Tebow's prettier? I mean, I understand you got your man crush, but you can't force that on the rest of us. Meet Skip Bayless, the most obnoxious, rude, misinformed, deluded sports analyst that has ever graced our television screens. Did you hear what they screamed early in round nine? Those, that hurt Mayweather! That hurt Hello. Mayweather! That wasn't, that wasn't Paulie or, oh. or Alberti. Yeah, that was that guy in the middle. Paulie, shut up! Because Paul. he didn't have anything to say. Oh. I never thought in a million years I would ever have to make a video addressing this supposed expert on my channel. But his views and opinions have become so popular on the web, I dread to think how many younger viewers or casual fans listen to this guy and actually take on board his opinions. They are just completely absurd. I, I think I've accomplished more in my field than you have in yours, though you're just getting started. So so I'm, I'm the top of my field, so I'm all pro, I'm the best, one okay. of the best 22 players in the NFL. You, you're gonna brush it off, but I don't think you're the best 22 to anything in sports and in media and that's, anything. I think that's you debatable. Think this is a boxing channel. I don't really have the time to follow other sports like NBA or the NFL. So take my hat off for Skip for covering so many sports as it may be hard to be able to broadcast good insight for so many different things without making the odd mistake here and there. But when it comes to boxing, this guy seriously needs to learn how to conduct himself in a more professional manner. That's what we because what we're Floyd is, let me do my blasphemy again, sure. chicken. <laughs> So disrespectful yeah. for yeah. you to say something like that. We are talking about Floyd Mayweather yeah. here, the best pound for pound fighter on the planet. No, <laughs> that's Pacquiao. How has the sport of boxing got to the point where, in the rare occasion it's actually being hyped up and talked about on television, this man is sat in the hot seat spewing out pure and utter nonsense? Wait a minute. You say you know boxing? Yeah. What is it? Maybe I don't know. Tell me what a pool counter is. Pool counter? I've never heard that term before. That must be your turn. You must have been No, it ain't, it ain't my turn. It's, it's, it's all the fighters' turn that you, something you don't know about. Like I said before, for all I know, he could be an expert on basketball and football topics, and I'm sure there'll be some fans of his watching this that could let me know in the comment section. But one thing I do know about is boxing, and in this case in particular, Floyd Mayweather Jr.'s career. Now that is something Skip Bayless clearly knows nothing about, or has such a hatred for the man he can never give him an inch of the credit he deserves. One thing I'd like to make clear is I am not a Mayweather super fan. I'm a fan, yes, but just as much of a fan as I am of any other boxer. So this is not a video to try and give any unnecessary praise to a man that has already clearly earned his respect in the sport. Whether you like the man personally or not, if you are in a position to preach your opinion to millions worldwide, at least try to put your bias aside for the integrity of sports media and more importantly, yourself. It's not easy to find clips from before 2011 and 12 of ESPN's first take covering boxing, but in every clip I did find, Skip Bayless was running Floyd Mayweather to the ground time and time again. Get exposed. First of all, there were two fights on Saturday night. <sighs> one in the ring and one on Twitter between me and my friend. Yes. You went round and by round. Round by round, and I won the fight on Twitter. And, How? And, and, and Who told you that? <laughs> Who told and, you that? And, and Mayweather was very fortunate to win the real fight in the ring. Floyd Mayweather got exposed. Floyd Mayweather looked 35 <laughs> years old. You're such a hypocrite. Wait a second, wait a second. Ahead. And Cotto, for the first eight rounds of that fight, was punishing Floyd Mayweather. We saw his nose bleed three the, times. The first three eight times. rounds. The, the first, first eight I rounds. I had it four to four. I, I, I had, four to I had, four. I had Mayweather had four. five, three well, after eight rounds. that's because you're a fan. You oh, have no stop objectivity. It. And, you, and you do. And you have objectivity. With, you're the paragon <laughs> I mean, of objectivity when it comes to Floyd I Mayweather. I have it on this guy. Oh, please. It was four. There's nothing then, about you that's objective then, about him. Nothing. You were, it was I, illegal. I you, can't argue, you can't argue legal or illegal. But That's why I wanted to go there. Dirty pool. Yeah. You know what? This was cowardly on the part of Floyd. Let me ask you this. If that's not Mayweather who does it, would you feel differently? Would it still be, if that was Pacquiao? Who would okay, what if Ortiz had done it to Floyd? Okay, yeah. Would people it be yeah. a sucker punch? Oh, people would be going crazy. Well, they would have gone crazy at ringside. They would have turned it over and started the fight again. You I must say, Floyd, who's mostly a powder puff puncher, 
That was the toughest punch. <laughs> Best punch he's ever thrown. Ever thrown. Yeah, Best punch he's ever thrown. That was the moment. After Floyd had beaten every worthy contender outside of one certain individual, Skip's attention turned heavily to the man he truly believed in his heart would finally make his dreams come true of seeing Mayweather being defeated. In the presence of a legend, you ain't gotta ask, already know who the best is. First name, man, yeah. last name, Pacquiao. When the bell ring, get ready for the smack bell. So now we've got a Floyd Mayweather, age 35, who is going a little soft here, who has admitted that he's afraid of fighting Pacquiao because he thinks he, Floyd, will get permanently hurt for the rest of his You're life lost. in that fight. Just, oh. Pretty boy Floyd would get cut in this fight. I don't think he lasts four rounds in this fight. <laughs> yeah, one man hasn't tried and one man will not fail if and when it ever happens. But here's my point about bark, 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 Floyd Mayweather. Stop it, stop it. He's been the coward here <laughs> from the start. I'm going to be disrespectful. You know what? Floyd Mayweather is more overrated than that Blake Griffin dunk we did. Oh, wow. <laughs> he is. He's so he's so a two. Done. He's, he's, he's a two. Wow. He's scared. Floyd Yo, Fairweather. He's been running from this dude for, for months Don't now. Don't be disrespectful. I'm being disrespectful because be I'm disrespectful. telling the truth. If Floyd doesn't want any part of Pacquiao, mm -hmm. the right hand is why pretty boy Floyd would get cut for the first time in his career. And the right hand is why I think Floyd, as Aram suggests, would be dropped in this fight by the third or fourth round. It would be over quickly, painfully, and humiliatingly for one wow. Floyd Mayweather. Huh? Well, the fight was finally agreed upon, and I think it's fair to say Mayweather left no doubt in any real boxing fan's mind who won. He told us he thinks Mayweather's going to come out quick. The way Pacquiao's reacting, Mayweather's right hand is stronger than he gets credit for, and the timing is flawless. Really? Fighting scared? It looks to me like Money May is totally dominating the action. Boom! It's been another quintessential Floyd Mayweather performance as he is clearly enjoying himself taking Manny Pacquiao to the school of the sweet science. I have worn this garbage long enough. This is it. Done with you. What? Now, it's my turn to talk on this show because I got a whole lot to say and you got a whole lot to listen to. Here's the truth of what happened on Saturday night. Manny Pacquiao won that fight. Oh, he didn't do nothing. That's my bottom line to the whole fight. Floyd Mayweather didn't do nothing. I have never been more shocked and, and in this case saddened by the outcome of a sports event than I was by that one. I'm talking about the miracle on ice, Kirk Gibson, Dwight Clark's catch. Those were all positive outcomes, shockingly positive. In this case, so shockingly negative because Stephen A, I tweeted round by round I had it 11 to 1 Pacquiao. I had it 119 to 109 Pacquiao. At this point, Skip comes across like nothing but a troll or a seriously deluded fan. But at least the fight was put to rest, and Mayweather now had no foreseeable challengers in the near future. And then along came the next. You know what I believe, Shannon Sharp? This is the strongest indication yet that Floyd may or may not weather is running as scared as ever of Conor McGregor, the baddest man on the planet. Does he want to risk Conor McGregor in his legacy? Because that's what I think is gonna happen here. So deep down, my gut gut feeling is that Floyd is still gonna be a going to be dancing a little bit on this one and he might be running a little bit because he, I don't think he really wants to risk 49-0 against this guy. Floyd Money Mayweather, is that what you call him? Money? Money. I, I'm going to start calling him Floyd Bunny Mayweather as in Bunny Rabbit because he, can, he doesn't hit harder than a bunny rabbit right now and we know he can run like a bunny rabbit. Run, run, run Floyd and he will run, hit and run Go from there, Conor Floyd. McGregor. For, for, for the next few months, that's all you're going to hear. He's going to stay relevant, taking pot shots from a distance at a guy who would kick his behind in a boxing match because you would have to explain how poor little Floyd got his little behind kicked because 
there's no way he could knock out Conor McGregor. You'd have to kill this guy to knock him out. And Floyd hasn't knocked anybody out since 1999. Look it up. Unfortunately, due to copyright reasons, I can't bring you any footage of the fight, but I'm guessing most of you watching this know how it went down. Yes, Conor did maybe a little more than expected from a boxing fan's perspective, but for Skip to lose his mind in such a way and call the stoppage some sort of robbery and say Conor had any chance of coming back to win is completely preposterous. In the ninth round, Conor McGregor was robbed of a chance to win that fight by a Floyd protecting, Floyd loving referee named Stop. Robert Byrd. Connor came right out and went smack, smack, left, right, and he stung him. And Floyd retreats into the corner, and here he came with a big right hand to the side. If you heard the Showtime announcers, the, the two of them back to back, they said, that hurt Mayweather. That hurt Mayweather. And I jumped it. You can ask Ernestine for the first, I made my first noise in the fight. Finish him! <laughs> Finish him, he's in trouble in the corner. Over the last couple of months, I've gained tens of thousands of UFC and McGregor fans on this channel, most of which knew Connor had very little chance of winning, but were simply backing him as a fan, which is completely reasonable. But I can honestly say, I haven't seen one single fan come on this page after the contest and say it was stopped early, because no one outside of some seriously radical fans would ever suggest otherwise. It happened so fast. I need to see a replay, but you Connor fans know what I'm talking about. I, he had him, and Robert Byrd pulls him away and saves Floyd.